Now, uh, some of my students, they are having problem installing uh, Photoshop extensions on Mac operating system. So I am back on my iMac and uh, you can see uh, for the default folder where most of the installations are going to be installed, whether you are going to install them using uh, ZXP installer, I think ZXP installer or you are going to install them manually, they are all going to be installed in this folder. So how you can access that folder Macintosh HD or your system drive. Uh, double click and go to library double click and application support then we are going to adobe and here we have a folder called cep so this is the folder where all the extensions are going to be installed now you can see i already have installed this font awesome ps uh, uh, extension and this credify extension then this guide guide extension which i uh, use a lot of time Okay, so uh, whatever you are going to download, you are going to install uh, it here. If you want to install it manually, you are going to paste it over here. Okay, so now in this lesson, I am going to go to Uber plugins. They have a lot of great free products. You can see over here. These are paid where they say it is for $20 or whatever. This is user picks. I already have, I think, installed uh, this uh, Uber. Uh, I think this faces. So in this lesson, I'm going to install this Uber mapper. So if you click on download, it is going to be uh, go to a free service called uh, Gumroad. And what you need to do is just put zero over here because we don't want to pay it, pay something. So they are going to send it to me by email. So I am going to download it right now. And uh, once it is downloaded, I'm going to show you how we are going to install it. Okay. So uh, this is downloaded and I'm going to my downloads folder and this is Uber mapper and you can see if I open up this uh, uh, folder you can see here we have one ZXP file which we can use to install uh, with ZXP installer which is another installer so if we go to ZXP sorry ZXP installer let me show you so here we have this ZXP installer. So if you download this ZXP installer, we need this ZXP file over here. This ZXP file, we are just going to drag and drop it on our ZXP installer. Okay. So if you want to install using ZXP installer, we need that. Okay. So let's first uh, manually install it. So if we have this manual installation, you can see here we have this folder. This is called CC Uber plugins, Uber mapper. So I am just going to uh, copy it or command C and I'm going to go back to the folder. Let me see. Okay. So no, this one. Okay. So here we have, uh, we are inside this extensions folder, which is inside this CEP folder. Uh, I showed you this Adobe application support, Adobe CEP and inside this extensions, we are just going to paste this over here. Okay. So it is requiring my password. Okay, so here we have it. This is and this is all we need. Okay, now one more thing you need to exit your Photoshop quit Photoshop and uh, you are we are going to run it again because it is going to uh, load into Photoshop. Okay, so here we have it. Okay, so I'm going to open up any file right now just to show you that what I mean. Okay, so let's drag it inside my working area. Okay, so uh, after you have installed it, uh, it is not going to pop up over here. You need to go to Windows extensions and you need to enable it. So here we have this Uber mapper. So if you click on it, you can see here we have this mapper and let's uh, add New York. Something like that over here. And I am going to create something like this over here. And let's use this and generate map okay so here we have the map of new york and uh, i think that is all we need i i wanted to show you how to manually install it okay now uh, the second part is most of the plugins they are going to be installed this way because uh, manual installation is the best you can install it like that uh, now the second way is that you we are going to use zxp installer so let me see if I already have installed ZXP installer on my system. Um, let's go to all the applications. ZXP, yes, I have it. 
okay so here we have the zxp installer and what we need to do is we just need to drag our uh, this file the zxp file let me show you how to do it just drag this file over here okay so it is going to install it like that so uh, sometimes it is going to give you this message, but most of the time it is successful and it is going to install. So um, if if it still gives you this kind of message, I think you should download the latest version. I think I don't have the latest version right now. So um, it is going to install like that. Okay, so we already have installed it. So we don't need to worry that uh, this failed or whatever this problem is. Okay, so our plugin is working fine. So these are two ways to install your plugins on your Mac operating system. I think that will solve most of the problems of my students. They are they were having problem with the Mac operating system and how to locate this uh, folder where they need to install uh, their uh, plugins. Okay, so uh, that is all. If you have any questions, do ask me and uh, let's move on to the next lesson.